you are in a relationship or maybe you are married but do you feel that that you do not have the sense of being in a family and when i speak of family i am not talking of your parents here i am not talking of your relatives your brothers sisters uncles aunts i am talking of your spouse and i am not talking of your in laws mother in law father in law no laws <laughs> Just you and your spouse. So, do you feel that you have that sense of uh, having a family together? Even if you are just two people staying together, husband and a wife, you may not have kids necessarily. But do you have that sense of togetherness, that sense of belonging? That we are not just a team. We are a family. Do you have that, or do you not have it? All right. So. that's exactly what we are going to discuss today because today's topic is the uh, second house from venus and as usual if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me you will find my website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of who is there in the second from your venus so now what's the uh, second house second house we know it's the house of the family right but second house from where the second house from the ascendant like you have the first house then you have the second house so from the ascendant the second house shows your physical family members many times people will say that it's not necessary that somebody who is a uh, born uh, who is there in your family is like your family member sometimes it could be that uh, your friend or uh, some strange stranger suddenly feels like as if they are your family member why because the second house from the ascendant only shows your blood relations okay but second house from every planet will show the family members which come for that particular area of life okay so therefore they say that if a if a planet is there in the second house which is a natural malefic like saturn rahu ketu second house from the ascendant then it could happen that uh, you have had uh, some very bad experiences in your childhood your parents fighting or your parents had affairs or something like this similar not necessarily always but uh, not a very nice experience sometimes it would also happen if the second lord is afflicted or badly placed in a dusthana in this case it definitely happens or if the lords of the dusthanas the 6th 8th or 12th sits in the second house from the ascendant okay so then the childhood the upbringing uh, the conception of being in a family is not very good because you have seen that uh, maybe subconsciously you have this pattern inside that uh, it's not worth it to stay with a family it's not worth the effort to stay in a family you might have felt like this okay but this family is only the ones who are there when you are born or within your family maybe your younger sibling after you are born but they necessarily are not the ones with whom you might feel a connection at a soul level for that you might have to check your atma karaka planet in the second from the atma karaka okay so similarly when it comes to relationships it is very important that you first check the second house not from venus from the ascendant okay why do i say although we are going to discuss about second from venus but the second from the ascendant which is your uh, family birth family i would say they considerably shape your conception of married life and family and uh, that sense of collectivism and togetherness that sense of interdependence okay if the uh, second house from your ascendant is not very good then you could develop some uh, fake independence within you you may think that 
oh i just want to live by myself because it's not worth staying with others because others have always disappointed me this is something which you might feel okay so therefore that second house shapes your conception of relationships considerably see the second house is the house of sustenance okay so what do you think sustains you that is the second house that's why second house the house of food family and uh, you know numbers counting mathematics etc because you have to learn how to count right otherwise you you will not develop your intelligence by counting i don't mean some fancy calculations but you must learn to count some basic things which every child uh, learns in the, uh, in his or her childhood so therefore once you check the uh, planet or planets or the influences in the second from the ascendant now you know what does this person think when it comes to family life okay but now that's not the end of the world now we come to second house from venus this is very crucial because once you have seen what is the conception of the person about family life which is from the second house from the ascendant now you see when this person is in a relationship conjugal relationship married relationship then what are the things which will help this person or which are the things that will uh, prevent this person from getting a sense of being in a family with his or her spouse this is very important because it can happen that suppose uh, if you have a benefic in the second from the ascendant you might have a relatively better conception of uh, being in a family but now if you have a malefic in second from venus it could happen that you have good relations with your family members it could also happen you have a good relationship with the in-laws it could also happen second house can also show in-laws okay sometimes but primarily it's the eighth house of course but if the second house from venus is damaged then what happens is you will feel that i have such a good relationship with all my family members or mo- or with most of them or in general i i like my family but then the moment i am with my spouse i feel as if uh, he or she is not a part of my family why because now the second house from venus is telling you that you cannot find a family with this damn person <laughs> yeah you may have good compatibility you may have a good chemistry you may like each other you may be obsessed with each other you may want to stay lifelong with each other but that sense of togetherness that sense of being in the family being one that might be missing if the uh, second house from venus is not very good okay so therefore it becomes very crucial that you check uh, check the second house from venus and if you do not have a planet there you need to check uh, the second house lord okay the second lord from venus okay and different planets can give different vibes so for example it might happen that if your dashas uh, are indicating good married life in general and your second house from venus as a malefic like saturn it might happen that your married life is going on but that sense of family is missing because whatever you do is not enough saturn represents deficiency anything that you cannot provide then your spouse will say that uh, okay you are good as a wife but uh, or as a husband but uh, maybe not uh, very good as a father or a mother or you may not feel that uh, i uh i feel like a family member with my spouse okay because um saturn has this tendency to look down okay so it's like okay when you are uh, you both are uh, together it's great but uh when it comes to family uh maybe something's missing <laughs> then if then if you have another malefic like uh, ketu 
then there may be serious confusion within the uh, relationship when it comes to uh, establishing a family. Okay. If you, uh, when should you have kids? How many kids should you have? One person may say, I want to have kids. I don't know. The other one might say, I don't want to have kids. <laughs> or even if you are having kids, there may be issues uh, with pregnancy or something like this. Or, you know, low sperm count with men or something like this. Okay. So, it's like you feel headless when you are wanting to have a family with your spouse. Okay. And of course, Rahu represents... Uh, untoward incidences and you know like anything which shocks you rahu represents shocks okay <laughs> rahu represents that talk which you get when you experience something unexpected somebody cheated you you get a shock oh my god this person cheated me <laughs> that's what rahu is so you might feel cheated by your spouse if you want to start a family, or that sense of togetherness might be missing. Now, natural benefits are very good uh, in second from Venus. They, they will help you to uh, enhance your uh, traits of the fa of your family within the relationship. Okay, I'm not talking of your parents or in-laws. Okay, so if uh, Mercury is there, then it could happen that when you communicate properly, when you uh, when you talk to each other, then you feel as if, yes, I am talking to my family member. Okay. Jupiter, Moon, uh, great planets, excellent placements. But not necessarily always. If your Jupiter, Moon, Mercury is in second from Venus and they are lording a Dustana, then there will be challenges there also. But because they are natural benefits, if you use the traits properly, then you will be benefited. Or even if they are debilitated, then also there's a problem. So, for example, if you have Venus in Aquarius and you have Mercury in second from Venus, that means Venus, uh, Mercury is in Pisces, second from Aquarius. And you know Mercury is in debility, right? So then you may feel that the moment I go and start talking with my spouse, it ends up in a disaster. Why? Because Mercury is in debility. But then what do you do? Do you talk or you not? Well, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a natural benefit you can um, you can still uh, enhance those traits okay but there will be a deadlock it's like you talk and there is like you you can't move beyond a certain point okay similar things can happen if there is a debilitated jupiter or debilitated moon in second from venus and on the other hand if you have an exalted malefic then also it can be good, but it will happen after a lot of challenges, okay? Or a malefic in own dignity, like you have Venus in uh, Sagittarius, for example. And then your Saturn is in Capricorn. So it's in the second from Venus, okay? This can mean that there is this sense of deficiency when you want to feel like a family, but then Gradually, there is an understanding, okay, this is how much I can provide and this is what I cannot. <laughs> so, if there are malefics, but they are in good dignity, then there is an agreement that, yes, this is what I will provide, this is what you provide, this is what I need, this is what you need. Then we will see who can provide what. Yes, uh, but if a malefic is in bad dignity, it makes things worse, okay. So what would you like to have in second from Venus? Would you like to have a exalted malefic or a, a debilitated benefic? The choice is yours, okay? The end result matters after all. Okay. But every, every planet will come with their own pros and cons, okay? And it's also important to see if the second house from Venus is afflicted or not. So there was one person who had uh, Jupiter in second from Venus. And this person's uh, Jupiter was afflicted by Rahu. Okay. So because of that, what happened was uh, uh, this person's spouse did not want to marry them. Now Jupiter represents marriage. So Jupiter in second from Venus will always encourage you to get married, okay? Uh, but because this was afflicted, uh, then uh, when this person requested 
their spouse or their partner, not spouse for marriage, then the partner says said that, uh, no, I will not marry and if you force me to marry you, I will leave you. Okay, so it's that Rahu element of confusion and uh, not wanting to give some commitment to okay. him. Of course, as I said, every planet comes with uh, their pros and cons. So don't think if you have a benefit necessarily, it's going to be excellent, okay? And um, don't think if there's a malefic, then uh, it's ruined, okay? Do not think like that. Therefore, you, instead of checking blindly if it's a benefic or a malefic, natural malefic or benefic, try to see in detail which houses they are ruling. Like if you have Jupiter in second from Venus, which houses does Jupiter rule? Is Jupiter lording a trine? Then it's fantastic. Fifth lord, ninth lord, fantastic, brilliant, out of the world. Or is it ruling a dustana? Then it's trouble, you see. Okay. So therefore, whenever you watch these videos, you know, like I made for fifth from Venus, twelfth from Venus, like second from Venus. Okay. But you have to check your whole chart and your dashas most importantly. What's going on in your dashas? Which dashas will give you good married life? Which will give you bad married life? Okay. Which will give you average married life? So once you check all these, then you can check that once this person gets married, then how how can the person develop a sense of uh, having that family together? What are the things which this person should do to feel that connection at a deeper level? Or what are the things which this person should avoid to not feel alienated? Okay. So... Sometimes if there are benefits, you need to do something, certain things to enhance. And if there are malefics, you need to avoid certain things to not feel uh, disconnected. Okay. So therefore, it's a very complicated analysis where you check the nakshatras and so many other things. So suppose you have Jupiter in second from Venus. Where is the nakshatra lord of Jupiter placed? Okay. Is he in a trine or is he in a dustana? That also makes things... Uh, more clear actually okay rather than just seeing the planet okay so if a planet is in second from venus the nakshatra lord of that planet is very 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 crucial that planet decides everything okay so suppose you have jupiter uh, like today bharani is going on now so suppose you have um, venus is exalted in your chart and jupiter is in aries in bharani nakshatra okay then who is the lord of bharani is Venus himself, right? So then he is also exalted. So this, um, this depending on the chart, this can be good or bad, depending on what is your ascendant. Because depending on your ascendant, this Lord of Harani, which is Venus, is going to rule a particular house, two houses. Okay. So therefore, you need to check what is going on within Nakshatra Lords. Okay. That will be all from my side. Thank you very much for your patience. I'll put some other videos on Venus uh, here. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below. Okay. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him in this universe or inside.